And, and Barbara, Russia, of course, is talking about um, taking these military technical measures. They're also have already, the White, the White House also accused Russia of carrying out cyber attacks in Ukraine. I wonder if you could sort of talk about what, what retaliatory, what retaliatory military technical measure could mean. It's a mouthful. What does that actually mean, Barbara? And, and sort of is the future of war here cyber as, as well? Well, I think I think that is a good deal of what is going on already. The U.S. tagging the Russians for cyber attacks in Ukraine and actually quite worried that the Russians could come to the United States shores with cyber attacks against U.S. banks, U.S. power, uh, electric power structures, that sort of thing. Huge worry. What we're talking about, I think, in the Ukraine, immediate area of Ukraine, is a conventional Russian attack to some extent. These troops, these hundreds of, uh, these thousands of troops, the weapons, these are conventional heavy weapons. We're talking tanks, artillery, rockets, mortars, hundreds of ballistic missiles, helicopters, attack aircraft. And what the Pentagon has calculated, the human disaster is just, you can't wrap your head around it. If they go in with a full-blown invasion north from Belarus, east and south uh, from, from Russia, from Crimea, if they go after population centers inside Ukraine, the calculations is tens of thousands of civilian casualties, wounded. It will just be horrific beyond belief. And, and there is a good deal of effort to make that very plain. Um, it, it, will be, it will be just appalling. Now, there are U.S. forces across the border in Poland, which is a NATO member. The U.S. is sending troops for deterrence and reassurance against NATO's eastern flank members. Uh, but, you know, in the year 2022, we're talking about the possibility of people, including Americans still in Ukraine, trying to escape uh, across the border into Poland uh, with their lives. And it just seems extraordinary that that's where we are.